Hey snowmobilers, I'm here in our garage with the 2024 Catalyst and I'm looking at the side panel of the Catalyst because I need to take it off. The reason I need to take it off is because I'm going to install a bearing saver. Stay tuned. <laughs> So what is a drive shaft saver? It comes in a couple different varieties, but this is the one that I bought for this snowmobile. This is from Precision EFI, and it's actually designed for the turbo sleds, for the Thundercat and the um, Yamaha turbos. It's a machine metal part that has an expanding uh, joint in it, very similar to like concrete anchors. And in the, actually that's pretty much what it is, is a concrete anchor made for drive shafts. And what can happen with the Articats is the drive shaft is hollow and uh, during the assembly process the bearing is not quite, uh, it's not, doesn't fit tight to the drive shaft. So uh, what we do is we put this in there and that kind of expands, you put it inside the drive shaft, expands the drive shaft a little bit and uh, that is just enough to close that gap with the bearing and it prevents the drive shafts from spinning on the bearing. Again there are several different varieties of these uh, and different designs and it just so happens I went with uh, with Precision EFI's solution this time. Okay. So let me uh, let's see if we can move the camera around here so you can see this. Okay, the, the brake caliper is right down here, and I, that's where the drive shaft is. And if you can see, there's a little circle right here. That's the location of the drive shaft. So I need to get, there's a Torx bit to get these off. I've got one here, one here, and one here. Okay, and now this whole thing is loose. All I have to do is pull that out. Okay, so once I take that out, now you can see, and we're just going to move this little drain hose out of the way. Now you can see where that drive shaft is right here. And that drive shaft is hollow. And here is that uh, drive shaft saver. And you, this one, we've got a uh, flat surface here for an adjustable wrench that you can put on there. And then there is a hex wrench driver inside of there. And of course, it, as it pulls, as it pulls these closer together, then the little wings here spread out, and that's what puts pressure on this. Okay, so once I loosen that up, uh, now it'll slide right in there. The main thing here is you just want to tighten this up a little bit so that it expands the, the drive shaft. This is just a preventative measure. You don't, you know, uh, on the one hand, a guy doesn't really probably need to worry about this. Um, and maybe the high mileage, if you ride a lot, you might uh, find benefit in this. Again, it was meant for mainly for the Yamaha and Articat turbo sleds. What it does do is it gives you a little bit of insurance and it's easy. Uh, I believe that Precision EFI charges something around uh, 100 bucks for this. Once you find damage, you're, you're not just replacing a bearing, you're replacing the drive shaft. So it can be an expensive, I mean, we're talking, uh, you know, if, if this prevents uh, damage to the bearing, which then damages the drive shaft, it, for a hundred bucks, this can prevent, you know, probably a $500 shop bill, you know, especially if you don't do the maintenance yourself. So it is something that's easy to do and uh, not really that expensive when you look at the alternative of, you know, is how this would uh, impact you if you had to pay for the repairs. So with that, I'm going to put this back on and uh, that project is done. Thanks for watching and I hope I see you on the trail.